All right, budget magic time. Mono white panharmonicon in modern. And we'll try this. We're on the draw, which means we should get some night value. Looks like Eldrazi Tron. Well, good news is we got four ghost quarters. Bad news is we have zero ghost quarters in hand. If we can keep our opponent off of Ulamog, I think we can go long with this deck. And this deck is usually much less efficient at putting together Tron than some of the other versions. There's a matter reshaper. Thought Knot is a bit annoying. I'll play a Plains, Wall of Omens. Draws us a card. Well, there's Sun Titan. One of our better cards here. Hopefully we get to ramp with Knight next turn. Should be able to. And I guess if our opponent misses their land drop, that's not the worst thing for us either. <laughs> More Tron. And there's the Thought Knot. Yep. I would guess they take Path, but Sun Titan is good long game. But Path Thought Knot's pretty good for us. Yep, takes the Path. And passes. Well, we get a free land with Knight of the White Orchid. And play a Ghost Quarter. Pass the turn, and I think we're just going to have to kill a Tron piece. Yeah, let's kill the tower. We kind of get this back because this should mean we get to Knight again next turn. So we kind of get a free Ghost Quarter here. And in the long run, Sun Titan Ghost Quarter is probably our best way to win this match. Apart from just going infinite, opponent gets in with Thought Knot. Well, we got to take it. Down to 16. Tech Edge. And Walking Ballista. Another Plains, not good. Knight of the White Orchid gets us a land. Play a land. So the problem here is our opponent can Tech Edge, which keeps us off of Sun Titan next turn. We want to double, uh, double block this Thought Knot Seer, but it's going to be hard with the Ballista out because our opponent can just kill one with Ballista. Now we kind of get two for one. Oh, all right. Opponent is not going to go on the Tech Edge plan. So that means we are going to get our Sun Titan down, most likely. Unfortunately, that's a Ballista with Death Touch that we do not have an answer for. And another Ursus Tower. Opponent gets it. Well, let's double block. Opponent's going to kill one. Very certain of this. Yep. We lose a lot of our stuff. We draw. Well, another Sun Titan's actually pretty good. Sun Titan. Get back. Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter, the Tech Edge. How many wastes does this deck actually play is question two. Because I think over the long term, our way to win is Amiria with Sun Titan. That's our long game here. Problem is our opponent can add a counter to Ballista and then kill Sun Titan, which means they will be able to kill Sun... Oh, no. All right, that's game. Yup, yup, yup. Wow. Our opponent just naturally drew into Tron. Well, I mean, what can you say... You put Tron lands in your deck because you want to draw them, and draw them our opponent did in the perfect order. That's another Walking Ballista. So now I'm not even sure we can win with Sun Titan Emiria, because our opponent's just going to shoot down all of our stuff, and we're taking way too much damage. Yeah, that is very unfortunate that that is how this worked out. If our opponent didn't draw a Tron land and Walking Ballista, yep. All right. Wow. Timely Tron lands. Jeez. It's, that one was brutal because we had what we wanted, which is Ghost Quarter Sun Titan. And our opponent had what they wanted. I guess we can bring in the Pithing Needle, maybe Banishing Light, go down a Lone Missionary, and a... Well, maybe we go up a Condemn as well. Go down a Lone Missionary, a Pilgrim Eye, and a Resto. Try it like that. All right, we're on the play for game two, and we will continue our trend of mulliganing. All right, we'll try this. Felidaire's gonna have to go to the bottom because we need lands. Play a planes, pass the turn. Power plant for our opponent. And passes. Well, Ghost Quarter and Wall of Omens. Come on, lands. We need to curve into this Sun, <laughs> sun Titan. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh man, if this deck has Natural Tron, I'm gonna cry. 
The downside of Eldrazi Tron is it isn't actually very good at putting together Tron. And the downside to our deck is no matter how many cards we draw, we're going to be mana screwed. Uh, that's super unfortunate that we double Wall of Omens and did not hit a land in that scenario. Opponent has Expedition Map. Cracks Expedition Map. So, turn, turn three Tron and a Mind Stone. What does our deck say? Says, no sir to the land. Well, this means we have to path a Wall of Omens, which is miserable. Man, I feel like this matchup is so good for us. Opponent has Dismember to ruin that plan. All right. Well, I mean, that's the game. That's the game. Uh, that's another Urza's Tower. So our opponent has 12 mana available here on turn four. Thought not Seer. Can't do any more than cast Wall of Omens every turn to try to find lands. Opponent's got something else. That's an Endbringer, sure. Well, we'll give it one more turn. Even if we draw a land now, we don't really get to play Magic. Oh, there's a land. Turn five after multiple things. All right. Well, the game is still over. I'll keep playing so I don't get yelled at, but game is over. Our opponent just draws multiple cards every turn with Endbringer, um, and we can't put them off Tron because we need our mana. Actually, I'm going to scoop. Can't beat the magic gods. Can't beat the magic gods. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.